Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So good day again everyone So today we will be learning a little bit about the synthetic division And this would be by binomial So what I mean by binomials is on this part po, okay We will always be dividing our given um, by a binomial po, okay po uh, Because there are other ways of solving synthetic division using um, multiple terms po Pagdating sa inyong divisor, okay so, basically, in synthetic division, we'll have this structure po. Um, this um, this uh, bar. And then, for this part, dito na ilalagay yung divisor. Huh? And this one, dito na ilalagay yung dividend nyo. Oops, sorry. Dividend. Um, sulot natin yung bawah. Dito ilalagay yung divisor. Okay. Now, but when it comes to the synthetic division, um, the thing about this is, hindi po natin nilalagay yung variables, okay? So, ang ginalagay lang po natin dito would all be, always be yung ating numerical coefficient for the div dividend. The numerical coefficient for the dividend. And for the divisor, nilalagay po natin yung, um, we can say na ito yung kanyang value. Okay po. Value equated to zero. Equated to zero. So, ito po sa divisor natin. Okay po? And then again, we will have a side note po. Just a side note that you must always complete your you must always complete your um, polynomial. In a, in a sense, kailangan siyang kompleto. Dapat po, ganito yung structure niya. Okay? So, for example, we start at um, x raised to 4. So, dapat meron kang a x raised to 4 plus b x um, raised to 3 plus c x raised to 2 plus d x plus um, a b c d e plus e. Yung constant natin. Okay po? Dapat ganyan yung itsura niya lagi. And if, and only if, I mean if kapag may kulang siya, you have to fill it out fill out the missing term sorry for a while fill out the missing term with um, 0x raised to n where in yung n kung pang ilan siya okay so let me check yung example natin actually kompleto siya so maybe let's just provide um, later on maybe let's just provide later on kung ano yung pwede natin gawin regarding that or maybe let's just make our given kulang kulang na ano, sadya ito ay plus 26 ok plus 26 ok so yan yeah. ok so may kulang siya generally and we have p to p minus 5 ok so our ruling regarding this is would, would go like this the first thing that you have to do is you have to solve for the um, you have to equate the divisor to 0 and then solve for the given so, we have our P minus 5. Therefore, mangyayari dyan would be we will have P minus 5 is equals to 0. And solving for, for P, the answer is simply 5. Okay? It's not necessarily solving, um, reversing the sign ng, ng number dyan. Bakit? Kasi there would be cases na magkakaroon kayo ng fraction. Okay? Then, by structure again, so mapupunta dito sa may divisor part is yung ating 5. And as for the dividend, ang mangyari dyan is we will only take the numerical coefficients. So let's write it down here sa baba. So this is p cubed minus 10p squared plus 26. So we will take only the numerical coefficients. And since again, may kulang nga siya, so you will fill it out by 0p plus 26. Remember, kulang siya ng p. Kasi we have p cubed, p squared, walang p. Therefore, you will add 0p. Okay, plus 26 yung dulo natin. Okay, so taking the numerical coefficients, this would be 1, negative 10, 0, and 26. Okay po. So now we have our necessary, necessary things. We just need to put it or place it doon sa ating um, synthetic division. Uh, it's not necessarily a symbol, pero yung method natin. Okay, so we have 5 here. We have 1, negative 10, 0, and 26. So, just like po yung division algorithm, this one is, um, I would say na it's an algorithm because it's a repeated process, okay? 
paulit-ulit yung gagawin mo up until you reach a certain conclusion. Okay? So, using the synthetic division, the process goes like this po. And please follow po. Okay po. Let's use the a yellow marker para um, uh, check natin ano ba yung process. Okay? First one is bring down. Okay po. So, in bringing down, you just bring the entire given down. So, that is one. Okay? The next thing that we do is we will multiply. Oh, sorry. Let's just use yung asterisk. Okay. We will multiply. So, 5 times 1, the answer is simply 1. Ah, 5. So, ang mangyari dyan would be we will put it here. Okay? So, yung sagot dyan mapupunta dito sa taas. So, let me just shade that. I don't know. It's just... I feel like shading. Okay. So, the answer here would be 5. Next one is you will add... Okay, so you will add here. So let me just put the add na lang dito. I add nyo siya. Okay, after you add, um, that that would be negative um, 5, you will bring down the answer. So that would be negative 5. Okay po. Then you multiply. So 5 times negative 5, is th the answer is of course 25. Negative 25. Then again, you will add. So you add mo yan. Forward, um, dito natin, um, sulat natin. So this is negative 25. And then again, you will add. And then when you add, you always bring down. So that would be negative 0 plus negative 25. The answer is, of course, negative 25. And then you will multiply again. So yun yung po yung ruling natin, remember po. Okay, sorry, I forgot to add the symbol here. So you will multiply again. And then, you will multiply here. So, that's all multiplication po. Okay? Then, when you multiply, you bring it up. Sorry, I forgot to write these things. So, yeah. so you bring it up here. Okay? So, after you bring it up, um, 5 times negative 25, the answer is... I think it's 125, I guess so. So, it's negative 125. And then, you will simply add again. At po natin yan, the answer is of course, um, negative 99. Kasi ibibring down mo rin siya ulit. Okay? So, ang, rule, ang process natin is, bring down, multiply, add, bring down, multiply, add, bring down, multiply, and add. Paulit-ulit lang po yung process niya. Up until you reach a certain conclusion. Which is of course, our conclusion is the number here at the bottom. Ito yung ating conclusion. Okay, so now that's not the answer yet. Okay, the answer would look like that, pero it's not the final answer. Okay po, so our final answer would actually look like this. Okay, first things first, you check the highest degree. Okay, check niyo po yung given, and of course this is our given. You check the highest degree, which is of course, yung p cube, or of course yung degree lang itself, it's 3. Okay? In synthetic division, to find the final answer, you just simply take the highest exponent, reduce it by 1, and assign that to the very first give, um, answer. To the very first term that is in your answer. Okay? Again, you take the cube, the highest degree, reduce it by 1, and then you assign that to the very first term in your answer. And take note, ito po yung answer natin. Okay? And this is yung una, pangalawa, pangatlo, and then yung pang-apat. Okay po? So, i-assign nyo siya dun sa una. So, you will have P squared. And then, for the next one, assign yung susunod. P. And then, for the last one, P raised to zero or simply the constant. So, your final answer would look like this. Yung one, a-assign mo ng P squared. Yung negative five, a-assign mo ng P. Then, yung dulo, a-assign mo ng P raised to zero, which is of course, simply, 25 lang. And then, of course, yung dulo, that would always be, just like in any division algorithm, that would always be your remainder. So, this is plus negative 99 divided by yung ating divisor, which is x minus 5. And of course, since again, may 1 yan, pero may, numeric, may, number, may letter naman, it's negligible na. So, pwede natin hindi isulat. Therefore, again, giving a final answer of p squared minus 5p minus 25 
plus negative 99 over x minus 5. And this would be our final answer. Okay po? I do hope you got that, the process po. It's again, bring down, multiply, add, bring down, multiply, add, here, this time. Bring down, multiply, sorry, multiply, and then add, and so on. Okay po? So, going to the next example po, para so that you will have a better understanding, same goes lang po yung ruling natin. The very first thing that you do is, of course, you take the divisor, equate it to 0, and solve for x. Or the unknown po, okay? So, this is 4, and then divide both sides by 5. k is equals to 4 over 5. Having this, let's go to the um, dividend. Take the numerical coefficients. You have 50, you have 10, you have negative 35, and then you have negative 7. Now question, since wala yung missing term, kasi you will notice cube squared 1, and then of course the constant, therefore you're already good. Then proceed immediately to your synthetic division. Let me just make my lines straight. Okay, there you go. So we have 50, we have 10, we have negative 35, and we have negative 7. And we have 4 over 5. Guys, ang problema, magiging problema nyo dito would be multiplication of fractions. Okay? So, of course, you have to go back on that on yourself po. Okay? So, the ruling stands still. Bring down, multiply, bring up here, then add, then bring down again. Okay po? Paulit-ulit lang. And then again, we multiply, then we bring it up here, we add, we bring down, then we multiply again up until you reach the last one. Bring it up here, you add, and then bring down. Okay po. So, yun na po. Hindi ko na po ilalagay yung ating mga guide symbols or guidelines or operations. Let's proceed directly to the operation po. So, we bring down 50. Okay. And then, we multiply. What is um, 4 over 5 times 50? So, let ko lang dito yung solution para uh, visualize nyo rin. Okay po. The answer is, this is what? This is 10, correct? And this is 40. Okay, so I'm going to erase this. That is 40. Oops. The circle. The circle is not long. Let me just take this. Okay. So this would be, I forgot the answer. I think it's 40. Then, of course, we add. We add po natin. And the answer would simply be, of course, it's 50. Okay, wala namang sign siya. Okay, next one. Kung 50 and therefore, same answer. We will have 40. Then we will what? We will add. And the answer here would simply be 5. Okay po? So, kung 5 yan, then we multiply again. 4 fifths times 5, the answer is simply 4. Okay? If you have any questions regarding my multiplication and fractions, then please um, refer to your previous topics po. Okay? So, lastly, we will add. And pag in natin to, since mas malaki si negative, therefore the answer would be negative 3. 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's negative 3. Then again, tapos ka na. This is, um, tapos ka na dun sa partial answer mo. The next thing that you have to do is you have to check. What is the highest degree? It's cubed. Reduce it by 1, so it's squared. And assign that to the very first answer, which is this one. So, writing it down, we have 50 k squared. Positive si 50, so 50 k. Positive si 5, so plus 5. And then, ito, since, since um, our ruling would be plus always, add the remainder, so it's negative 3. All over, ano yung ating div divisor? Our, our divisor is 5 x minus 4. Giving us an answer of our quotient pala of 50k squared plus 50k plus 5 plus negative 3 over 5k minus 4. Okay? So, that's, I, I think that's um, um, the easiest way that I can teach you. There are other ways po of um, learning synthetic division but then again, ito yung medyo straightforward lang naman. Okay po? 
So I do hope you got that. In any case that you would have any other questions, you can consult me. Or you can return back to the video to, of course, learn the process again. Okay po? So thank you for listening everyone. Our next topic would be um, using the call this, um, using the different um, polynomials as your divisor po. Okay po? So thank you for listening everyone again and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.